staying strong Need to move on to be what I want I'll keep dreaming on Time to stay strong Need to move on to be what I want I'll keep dreaming Morning It's 4.30 in the morning uh, We're going to Don Moan Airport this morning we're off to Cambodia for three nights and four days. Now, I know another major Patea YouTuber has just come back from Cambodia. <laughs> but I, I did book this before I knew that. Um, so it's 4.30 in the morning. Uh, our taxi is arriving at half past five. Um, so let's run into some of the costs as well for the trip. Now, I'll tell you from the off the prices that I know. Airfares, we're going with Air Asia. It's £97 a ticket return. So I've got two tickets, cost £200 pretty much. So £200 for the airfare. And we're staying, uh, I'm not to the hotel yet, wait till we get there because I'll do a review on it. But the hotel for three nights, right on Pub Street. So we are literally on Pub Street in Siem Reap, because that's where we're going. It was a hundred pounds for three nights as well. So the whole trip is costing 300 pounds for me, two airfares and one hotel. 300 pounds for three nights or four, four days away in Cambodia. That's gonna be a long, long taxi ride we actually <laughs> we said we were going to go to bed at midnight I think I finally got in bed at just gone 1am I had about half an hour sleep so it's going to be it's going to be gruelling today especially that transfer to Don Moan just out of interest if I'd have gone from Bangkok airport to Sabonibun it would have been twice as much. Um, the airfares for that were coming up at £200 each per person instead of £100. So it would have cost twice as much on the airfare to go from Sabonibun. Having not realised how far Don Juan is, maybe I would have paid the extra airfare. I'm not sure. Either way, we're gonna get there. So, yeah, let's come along and take a look. Go to Cambodia, CM Reap. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright We just stopped off at the services for about an hour down The boys wanted to use the Hong Nam so we pulled over for a rest I think more likely the driver wants to get out of the car. He was, uh, he looked like he was falling asleep for a minute. <laughs> What do you think to getting up so early? Driver's got a coffee. <laughs> and Graham and Son have gone to 7-Eleven. Hope they bring me something back. And uh, so yeah, there's Graham going and Son going, which I think you've seen on my videos before. And then there's 
me going and boy going I think you know boy he's been on a few of my videos as well so he's coming along as well Okay, so I'm here in Cambodia now in the hotel. I'll do a quick room tour in a minute. Um, so, Don Juan Airport. It's okay. The airport itself is okay. Getting there is a bit of a nightmare. Traffic, but the airport itself was okay. Fast, efficient. We flew with Air Asia. The seats are very small. By the time I'd filled my immigration card in, we were landing again, so it was like a really quick flight. And when we got to the airport, we had to go into the visa queue, and basically there's just a row of people. And you start off on the first guy, he'll take your passport. The second guy will ask you to pay. The third guy will ask what you're doing here, etc., etc., and then the last guy, you get your passport back with a visa stamped in it, a full-page visa. And then we go on to the immigration queue, which was it was okay. It was quite efficient. Um, didn't wait too long. Stamped straight through and straight out the airport. We only had to carry on. It is baking hot. I've currently got the aircon going, a fan going, everything going. Okay, so we're in the Reeksme Chanrias Hotel, which is right on Pub Street. The room is massive, the room is gigantic. However, it's not really up to my standards and I'll show you as we do the walk around. So let's do that now. Okay, so as you walk in, You've got a cupboard with slippers, etc, etc. There's a safe down there as well, some co-hangers, just a few co-hangers. And you can see the size of the room, it's absolutely humongous. So we've got a little bin down there, a chair, we've got a desk, a little fridge, a huge bed. We have a fan and aircon and a TV. Through these double decker doors we've got a seating area with a settee style, two chairs, uh, we've got all our tea, coffee etc there and then we've got to the view. I'll show you the pool while we're here because I'm right above the pool Here's a view of the pool. Nobody's in it, but it looks very enticing, I must admit. Okay. Now for a little bit of detail as to why it's not quite up to standard. Little things like we've put the fridge on and we've had a look at the fridge and it's really dirty and grimy. Let's I'll show you. Like the handle. And then inside it's just dirty you know and then if we go into the bathroom okay the actual size of the bathroom is okay we've got a sink area hair dryer mirror and you get your necessities like your comb toothbrush okay the toilet is a little bit dated and it's also a little bit stained 
But the worst thing is the bath. It's got a bath, which is good. It's got a rainfall shower, which is good. Uh, but it's just got mould around it. Let me show you. Like, you see? Plug missing. Yeah, so, you know, the room's massive, which is taking ages to cool down. And it's just a bit dirty. And also there's no toilet roll in the, in the bathroom either. And we've only got two really small towels. So, it'll do for us, it'll do for us. Not a problem. The bed looks really comfy. bed looks awesome. I'm not looking forward to getting in that shower, but uh, <sighs> yeah. So the cost of the room was a uh, hundred pounds for three nights. So three nights. 30 quid a night. Yeah, that's the room. What do you guys think? Would you stay in it? Is it just not up to standard for you? I guess I'm not that picky really, I suppose, but um, yeah, it'll be fine, it'll be okay. One thing that happened to me the other day, to, to put a bit of context to this, sorry, I'll get in some better light for you. To put this into a bit of context, I have before been at the airport, and I've been in a bar in Thailand as well, where I've got talking to somebody, and turns out they've come across one of my videos and it's nice you know but one thing I've never had never I've never had somebody come up to me totally unrelated um, and say you know oh you're that guy off YouTube um, I watch your videos I love your videos keep keep on the good work um, when I'm at home I like watching them and I had that the other day that was the first time that's happened and I was, I don't know if I was a little bit embarrassed or, but I felt really good. <laughs> uh, I think his name was Mark. I'd had a few drinks so I apologise if you're watching and your name is not Mark, but I think it was Mark. <laughs> so we'll go with that. But yeah, he just, I was just sat drinking with my group of friends and he came over and I was sat with the bar owner, uh, John, who, who knows everybody. Um, so when he came up to us, I sort of moved out of the way a bit so that he could shake, shake hands with the bar owner, John. And then I realised that, oh, he's going towards me. <laughs> then, you know, he shook my hand and said, you know, he said what he said, which was really nice. So thank you very much. First time it's ever happened. I, I'll try not to be as embarrassed next time. I am quite... Um, I am quite inward and um, not shy, but introvert. So I'm used to just sitting in the corner and being quiet and listening into conversations, not really joining in much. Uh, but after that, you know, my friends were all taking the piss. And <laughs> it was very nice, it never happened before. So yeah, I felt really good, thank you. Thank you very much for that. And I will keep the videos up. So I'm in Cambodia. Three nights, four days. I know there's another major YouTuber here, or just gone home. <sighs> that happens every time I plan something. Every time I plan something, somebody goes somewhere I'm about to do myself. Uh, not that I'm going to get anywhere near the views that the other YouTuber is going to get, but uh, yeah. So I'm going to. I will go to Ankar. What I think. I've, I'm not making any promises actually, because I always make promises and never be, never, never go through with them. So. But it is, I, I do really want to do that. How can you come to Cambodia, especially Siam Reap, and not go to Angkor Wat? <laughs> One of the uh, UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So I am seriously trying to plan that um, and do that. So yeah, I've got, I, should have a, I should have a couple more videos coming from Cambodia. Anyway, um, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. The trip to Cambodia. Um, Don Juan, not too bad, just a little bit too far from Patea with the traffic. Hotel, okay, 
not not brilliant but not it could be worse weather wise it is scorching hot and yeah i'm gonna go and have a cold shower i think thanks for watching guys um see you on the next video bye